fairly small, so you're not going to be able to see it. Uh, so Tara, would you come uh, up and pay? So this morning, I want to talk about things that are valuable. Now, we know that there's lots of things valuable, and I'm sure each one of us, you guys, have things that you would consider to be valuable. That means it's worth a lot to you, it means a lot to you. You wouldn't want to lose it, and it's important to you. Uh, so in our world, if we think of the things that's valuable, well, obviously, diamonds are valuable, aren't they? And certainly my wife, Wendy, would consider diamonds to be valuable. If she goes into a jewelry store and she sees diamonds, then she knows they're valuable. Of course, we think about gold is valuable, isn't it? And sometimes, you know, other things like cars, you get these fancy cars, expensive cars, and they would be very valuable. So I just found a few things this morning that are valuable to me for different reasons. And this first one is valuable because a friend gave it to me a number of years ago. And it, it's sort of valuable in the sense that it's a, you refer to it maybe as a collector's coin. So it's $20. I don't know, have you ever seen Tyler? That's a $20 coin. It's got lots on it. It's an iceberg, though. So it's got an iceberg on the coin. Valued at $20. <coughs> and it's in a case. Do you know why it's in that case? Because for it to stay valuable, and in fact, even get more value, it needs to be in this case. Because if I was to take it out of the case and even touch it, even my fingerprints on it would lessen the value. So as long as it's in this case, in many, many years down the road, this coin will be worth much more than $20. So it gets more valuable as time goes on. Now I've got another coin. And this coin, well, when this coin was made, and, and some of the some of the people there, would, would, if you could see this up close, would certainly know what it is. And some of you would probably have one, or certainly would have had one. When this coin was made back in 1935, mm -hmm. you know what this coin was? It was a half a penny. So it wasn't even a full penny. Some of you would know a half a penny. <coughs> and it says right on the coin, it says half a penny. So it's almost. 80 years old. So it's valuable for me for a couple of reasons. Number one is that it's probably worth much more than half a penny now because there wouldn't be very many of these coins around. Uh, but it's also valuable to me because it's from my day. Okay, so my day, uh, this was my dad's coin and he kept it as well as others. And uh, so I will one day pass it down to my children or grandchildren. And they'll be able to show it to their families. A half a penny. And in fact, you can't even get a, a full penny now, can you? Because you're having one. <coughs> and I've got one more thing to show. Now, this is it's not real valuable in the sense of what it's worth, because what is it, Father? It's, you don't see any of these anymore, do you? It's a $1 bill. So now we call one dollar what? We call one dollar. But what do we refer to it as? A loony, don't we? We say it's a loony. So when you go to the store with a, with a dollar, you say you want a loony, wouldn't you? You have a loony. Well, this dollar is valuable, really valuable to me. Okay? Now it's old. In fact, this dollar was made in 1954, so it's uh, it's almost 60 years old. But the reason this dollar is valuable to me is that when I was 15 and I was leaving home to go to Carabineer to go to trade school, and I was uh, having to live in Carabineer, and the day time was going, my mom gave me this dollar. Okay? And this is what she said to me. She said, you don't know what will happen in your lifetime, but I'm giving you this dollar and you keep the dollar so that in your lifetime, you will always know you've got a dollar. Mm -hmm. And so I put this dollar in my wallet, and it's been in my wallet for 37 years. And as long as I live, I hope to keep this dollar 
and I'll, I'll reserve the half. <laughs> and these form. Uh -huh. So that's why it's valuable to me. But you know something this morning? God owns everything, doesn't he? All the world is God's. All the most valuable things that we could ever think of in the world are ours. But you know this morning, the most valuable thing to God is you. You are more valuable to God than anything else in the world. He loves you more, and you are worth more to Him than anything else that you think. Now, isn't that a wonderful God? To think that of all the things that God owns, much more than we own, that the most precious things to the most precious thing of everything to God is you and it's me and it's all these people and these people that are listening. And so I think this morning we should have a prayer and we should thank God because we mean so much to Him. I'm just going to ask you to I mean, close your eyes. And go. Our Heavenly Father, we know this morning that you own everything. You are the creator of all things. But this morning, Lord, we are so thankful that of all the things in this world, that we, your children, are most valuable to you. We are most precious to you. And this morning, we thank you for that. We thank you for these young people who are here and others of uh, this core who for various reasons are not here this morning. And Lord, we just pray your blessing on them. We know you love them. We know you, they are so valuable to you. And so this morning, Lord, we just pray that you will always keep them safe, that you will always keep them close to you. And that's this in the precious name of Jesus.